to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Parrish Stilla. Kevin Murphy's here, Braden Fernandez, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you for joining us at Chicopee Comp for the Western Mass Volleyball Final Game between the Frontier Redhawks and the East Hampton Eagles. Good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon a school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to gender, race, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated and could subject to the violation, the violator to ejection and may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. for your service to our country. Now for the members of the visiting team, East Hampton Eagles. Maggie Barr, Monterey Patel, <laughs> Emily Costick, <laughs> Kaylee Downey, <laughs> Kaylin Damon, <laughs> Aaron T, <laughs> Leo Zielinski, Kaylin Fearman, McKenna Slate, Kaylin Martin, Sophia Figinski, Dia Batia, Emerson Nadine, Kira Carson, and the East Hampton Eagles are coached by Molly Jacobson. Now for the Frontier Red Hawks, Hannah Davis. Sydney Scanlon, Eve Dubin, Gabrielle Adams, Allie Pierce, Ariana Miller, Shelby Orlowski, Brooke Davis, Caroline Dean, Julian Apanel, Samantha Baker, Sophia Bernardi, Kate DeMeo, Anya Carey, Olivia Machan, Abigail Hernandez, Kaylin Mayo, Emily Candelario. The Red Hawks are coached by Sean McDonald, Courtney Perrin, and Angelica Tafira. The officials of today's game are Bill McDonough, Mo Torres, Jerry Burgess, and Raymond Rickard. Now please rise for our national anthem. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Parasol, Kevin Murphy, Brayden Fernandez, back there on camera, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you guys for bringing this game to everyone today. And for everyone at home watching this, thank you for joining us for this Western Mass Volleyball Final game between the Frontier Red Hawks and the East Hampton Eagles. Frontier is the number one seed, the Eagles are number two, so this is sure to be a great game. Um, just had the starting lineups and the national anthem played. And the starting seven have taken the court for both teams. Number 10, Brooke Davis is serving. Frontier off with the first serve over the net, hit up. 
There it goes, Step back over. over. Brooke Davis gets it over the net for Frontier. Nice block. That was a good block. Who was that? Was, uh, I think that was Sydney. Sydney Scanlon. Number two. Senior for Frontier. Brooke is serving again. Serve's not going to get over the net, so it's going to go over to the Eagles. Number 21, Kaylin. That's Kaylin Damon. Damon. Kaylin Damon with the serve. Nice pass. Ooh. Good block there by East Hampton. Oh. Looks like it went out of bounds. Yeah. Damon with the serve again. Good set. Gets it over. And a double touch by number 16. That's Aaron Teague. So a little infraction by the Eagles. It's going to be Frontier's ball. And a kill by... I think that was number eight. Yeah. Emily Caustic, senior for the Eagles. That was a great play right there. Good serve. Frontier gets it and over. A kill by Caroline Dean. Now she's serving. So the score is three to three right now in this first set. Frontier has the ball back. Free ball. And there's Frontier trying to get it over. Good block Great by East Hampton. Great save and a nice tip. Out. Point goes to Chicopee. Although that was a great effort by Frontier after a good block by the Eagles. And now Kaylee Downey taking the serve. Frontier sets. Great hit. And a middle set. Great play by the Eagles. Ball was shanked back in here. So right now the Red Hawks are down in this first set, five to three. But there still is a ways to go. A back set and a kill by Julian Appleman. Serve by Kaylee Downey handled very well by Frontier. Uh, Kate DeMeo coming on for Brooke Davis for Frontier. Nice serve by Jill. Eagles get it over the net. Oh, and hit way out of bounds. So now the ball is back in the Eagles' possession, served by Maggie Barr. Ball hit the net. Point goes to Chicopee. East Hampton. Oh. We're in Chicopee, but they're playing East Hampton. Oh. And technically, oh. technically okay. speaking, East Hampton is the away team oh. for whatever reason. All right, so East Hampton, not Chicopee. Yes.
Nice save, save by Nice save by But it was out. Point for Frontier. They're going to get it back. That's Samantha Baker going back with the ball to serve it. And an eighth Ooh. SA. I think that was Maggie Barr for the Eagles. Laid out to try to save that ball, but she just... It's a great serve there. Just out of bounds, it looks like. Yeah. So now Teague is going to serve the ball. There it is over the net. Nice pass. DeMeo gets it over. Amazing hit by Kate DeMeo. Another point for Frontier. Score is eight to eight tied. All right. So overpass by East Hampton. Oh, and Frontier's just gonna lose it's in some communication. Couldn't handle the ball right there. So the Eagles get it back. Caitlin Martin with the serve. Nice hit by Caroline Dean. And uh, yeah. Brooke Davis serving again. There's a hit up, nice set. Oh, and a good. And a kill wow. by, uh, I think, Caroline. Or yeah, Caroline. it was Caroline. Caroline. So now Frontier's taking the lead by a point for the first time, I think, in this set. Davis serves it. And a double touch by East Hampton. Ah, that's what that is. I was wondering. Here's Davis with the serve again. Nice pass. Set. There's the hit and it's blocked. Right into the net. Okay. What? Was, was it there? I think I it was just in the net. I mean, the ref's standing right in front of us, yeah. so I can't see the net right there it's too hard well. To see. You've got a better angle at it than I do. Yeah. <laughs> There's the serve from Davis. Set. And a tip. Another tip by Jalapa. Mm. That was good. Frontier starting to take a commanding lead here. By four points. See if they can keep it going. Oh, and the ball went into the, in the net on the ceiling. Batting cage up above us. Good save there. That was by Kaylee Downey. Frontier sets. Uh, double touch by Frontier. So now the point goes to the That's Eagles. Right. Bad news for Frontier's momentum there. They had a really good thing going for a little bit. Here's Kaylin Damon with the serve. Out. It's going to go right back to Frontier. It's 
Scanlon on the serve from Frontier. A great hit. Good save by Davis. Ooh. Put out by Carolina. There's a serve from East Hampton. Great set. Overpass. Hampton hits it back over. Davis sets. Next hit. Got ourselves a bit of a volley going here. East Hampton hits it back over. There's Frontier hits it. Mm. Hit by Caroline D. Point goes to Frontier. That was some great back and forth right there. That was fun to watch. Dean with the serve. Set far back, it's not gonna make it over. That was just a bad set. That was by Emily Kostick, I think. So Frontier keeps the ball, 16 to 11. Frontier in the lead. And out by Kennedy. Now 16 to 12, Eagles get the ball back. Downey with the serve. Davis set. That's it. Ooh. That was smart. Great aware play right there. Number 12, Julian Apinelli, serving. And a touch by number 17, um, Caitlin Martin. Yep. And timeout called. Yeah, timeout called. Not sure by who. I'd assume East Hampton, since they're behind about six points right now. So how is this game looking so far to you, Parrish? Mm, I don't know. I mean, they East Hampton was in the lead, I think, for the first few points. But yeah, yeah. It looks like Frontier's coming back. Yeah, East Hampton was in the lead up until about the 10-point mark, and then Frontier... to 12 now, Frontier's yeah, winning. Just pulled ahead. They've had a couple good runs here and there where they've just got two, three, four points in a row. Mm -hmm. They've won the last two games that they've played in the playoffs and yeah. the finals. Mm -hmm. so. And you'd know better than me. How many... Uh, what's the history looking like? for this um, Frontier team? I mean, the past few years, past many years, Frontier's gotten very far in the finals, gotten to states. So, it's right looking now, pretty good for them. Frontier's got an impressive track record, yeah. as pretty much the whole school knows at this point. Mm. Goes to East Hampton. That was a great block right there. That was by uh, number 12. Well, it was into the net. But. Oh, it was into the net. So, number 12, Maggie Barr. There's the serve. A great move. Wow. Good effort by Aaron Teague on the Eagles, but not quite good enough to save the point. 19-13. Sam Baker serving. There it is, set by the Reset. Eagles. But hit into the net. Ah. 20-13, Frontier. And unless I'm mistaken, the it it goes to 25. Yeah. Right. Whoever gets to 25 first, so. Frontier just needs 
four points now to win the set. Then we've got a couple more after that. Yeah. So the set's going to be over soon unless the Eagles make a comeback. Yeah. Make Overpass quite a rally. by Libero. Great hit by wow. E. Dugan. It's going to go right into the scoring booth over there. Frontiers point. Scores 22 13. Three left until the end of this set. There's the serve from Frontier. Eagles hit it back over. Set. DeMeo hits it over. Oh, and East Hampton's going to get the point. Do you know what the call on that was, Parrish? I, I couldn't see. Oh. She might have touched the net, but I'm not sure. Mm. Here's Teague with the serve for the Eagles. Nice set. Way out of Hit bounds. Out by Izugan. Just rock it right to the back. So another point for the Eagles. No doubt they're starting to think they're going to make a comeback here. Let's see if they can. Ooh, and a tip by Ian Dugan. That was smart. And so... Score is 23-15. Frontier just needs two points to win the set. They missed the set hit. So now this is match point for Frontier. Or set point. Whatever you call it. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Just. Yeah. Out. So it will not end the set. Point's going to go back to East Hampton as will the ball. And here's Martin again with the serve, Davis. That's it, and a great hit by Kate Tamayo, which wins the set off. All right, and there we go. So Frontier has won this first set. They need to win two more to win the whole match. So yes, because it's best of five. Three out of five. Yeah. So we'll see. So Frontier has a nice Strong start out of the gate in this Western Mass Finals game. And Coach Molly Jacobson for the Eagles is no doubt giving her team a little talk. Mm. <laughs> There's just a going to be a couple minutes of a break for the players in between this set and so we're going to take a quick break as well you're watching frontier community access television we'll be back hello and welcome back to frontier community access television i'm mason smith here. with paris kevin murphy brayden for brayden fernandez all the rest of the fcat crew back with this uh second set Frontier won the first set, and we're on the second one now. So Frontier needs two more sets to win the game. And the Western Mass Champions title, again, after I think they've won it a couple years in a row, right? Yeah. Eagles start off with the ball. There's the serve. Hit out by Colombia. Right. Point goes to East Hampton. Now, Parrish, what I'm wondering already is East Hampton, as they've started with the ball in both sets mm -hmm. so far. And so um, that was a great effort there by Brooke Davis. Really good. just laid out for it. Um, the point will go to uh, the Eagles, though. But anyway, what I was saying was uh, they've started with the ball both sets. And last set they had a really strong start but couldn't follow it through throughout mm -hmm. the set. 
So what I'm wondering is once Frontier gets possession of the ball, is the same thing going to happen and is the tide going to turn? Um, I do think Frontier is good at making comebacks and getting the ball back. So yeah. right now, East Hampton is winning by two points, but now Frontier just got a point. So Only by one. And that was a great volley right there. A lot of back and forth, but an incredible save. A couple hits back by Frontier. That was a Carolyn Dean, I think. Eagles hit it back over. Appenell. Great hit by Appenell. Gets it over. Mm. And point for Frontier, just like we were saying. Did they come back and they've tied it up again. Score is two to two. Number two, Sydney Scanlon serving. Eagle set, hits it over. Great hit, but. Great save. Ooh. Points go to East Hampton. So now, Parrish, I've got a question. The ball has hit the ceiling a couple times now. It just hit one of the big, like, vent pipes mm. up there. And before it's hit the. Uh, the batting cage that's hanging above us. Yeah. So is there any rule against, like, you know, you hit it too high up and then it, like, hits something and then comes back down faster than it would otherwise? Um, is there a rule about it? Yeah, is there a rule about that? I don't think the ceiling, but the walls. You can't hit it off the wall. But ah. normally, most of the time, you can hit it off the ceiling. But it is very hard to get. Yeah. And there's a point for Frontier. After a couple by the Eagles. And so now Caroline Dean is going to serve for Frontier. There's the serve set by the Eagles. Appenel. And a great hit by Jill. So another point for Frontier. And they've tied it up again. Let's see if Dean can make something happen here. Give Frontier the first Great lead in serve. this set. Ooh. Ooh, hit her right in the face, geez. Mm -hmm. But there's Frontier's fifth point. And puts them ahead in this set. Dean gonna want to keep it going. Good pass. Good save by Eugene. But they couldn't get it. And we've got quite a crowd here too, as I'm sure you can hear. And a mixed crowd, surprisingly, since we're out in Chicopee. Got an even bag of Red Hawk fans and Eagle fans. Good set. Hit out by East Hampton. Ball is going to go back to Frontier. Brooke Number Davis. Number 10, Brooke Davis serving. Set by the Eagles. Out. Right by East right Hampton there. again. Yeah. Yeah, East Hampton's got to get a bit of a handle on the ball. They've hit it out twice now. Mm. Set. It's going to stay in bounds this time. Good set by Sid. Ooh. Good save by the Eagles there. The back set. And a kill by Jillian Apino. What a great play by Frontier.
Davis back for the serve again. There it is. She has a great serve. Great save by Eve Dugan. Scanlon gets it over. Oh. Whoa. Almost saved there. By that was Dugan. a hard play. Great effort, though. So the score is going to be eight to six. Frontier is ahead by two right now. Maggie Barr with a serve for the Eagles. A tip. Nice tip there by Dugan to get it over. And now Jillian Appenell is gonna number twelve take the serve for Frontier. Serve is out. Player's gonna tie their shoes on the Eagles. <laughs> well stoppage of play there. So there's Aaron Teague gonna take the serve for the Eagles. It's nine to seven. Frontiers ahead by two. Gabrielle Adams hits it over. And was that a block by Adams or did that hit? I actually did not see that, that one. Either way, Adams was there. And Eve Dukin's going to go back for the serve. Eagles set. There's Dean. Great hit by Caroline. Gabrielle, little nice. tip over. Adams. Scanlon. Oof. Hit into the net by Caroline. Point goes to East Hampton. And the score is 10 to 2. Serve into the net by number 17. That's Caitlin Martin. You know what's something interesting, Parrish? Yeah. The, pretty much the entirety of the Eagles team is juniors. There's only mm. three seniors and there's one 10th grader. Wow. It yeah. is an overwhelming I think Frontier has a good selection of different grades. Yeah, they do. There is uh, a decent amount of seniors though but they they have I all mean, of their grades yeah seniors juniors sophomores freshmen yep and they've also got a large team larger than yeah. the eagles 18 players really yep. wow Frontier's known for anything yeah. in sports. It's having large teams. They just got teams. two more players from JV to come up for finals. Oh. Uh, Hannah Davis and Caitlin Mayo. Caitlin's uh. a freshman, so she's the only one. Yeah. So now Sydney Scanlon. Going to take the serve for Frontier. It's 12 to 10. Frontier's still ahead by two. Nice tip there by the and Eagles. Nice save by Caroline Dean. Eagles get it back over. There's Scanlon. Dean hits it over. Ooh, and They're not just rolled right off her it. fingers. Roll right over Damon's fingers. So another point for Frontier, putting them up by three with 13 points. Here's Scanlon again. She has a very smart serve. She, she, she serves short sometimes, which always tricks the other team. Yeah, like we just saw. Here she is again. See? Yep. And there we go again. Very good serve. 
That's three points in a row for Frontier. Scores 15 to 10. At least two of them have been aces. Oof. Couldn't get the ball. Yeah. So now Frontier's up by six. And East Hampton will take a timeout. Quick one minute timeout. And so while that's gone, we're going to talk about the game for a little bit. So I think that what I was saying before, Parrish, is kind of coming true. You know, they well. started off, the Eagles, they started off very strong. They had a couple good sets in the beginning, um, a couple good points. Frontier. I mean, does normally make a comeback though, so. Yeah, and that's what they're doing right now. Score 16 to 10, Frontier's winning. And they've just kind of hit a rhythm at this point. They've gotten four points in a row. Mm -hmm. And coach Molly Jacobson of the Eagles. Called a timeout. Called a timeout. She's got to come up with something that is going to get her team back into this because that is not they definitely want to win this game yeah so. I mean and it it is not a good look going into the third set when you're behind by two already they want they really want to win this set even out the numbers a little bit mm. here's Sc Scanlon again with a serve mm. and they can't pass into the net under than that even. Mm. It was just. East Hampton has a, is having a lot of trouble handling Scanlon's serves. Hits it back. They're gonna get it back over. First time in a while. There's Davis, Scanlon, Appenel. Oh, hit out by Jill. I didn't Ooh. see that was out. I thought that, was, that one was in. That was like, that was a very close call. I guess it was out. But. So that's the Eagles' first point in a long time. And there's Sofia Faginski. Got the serve over for the Eagles. Scanlon sets. DeMeo gets oh. it over. Can the Eagles handle that? Little. They can. I guess the ball was under the net instead of block, so. Oh. Seventeen to twelve. Frontier ahead by five. Davis, Scanlon, Appenel. And Frontier gets another point. Eighteen to twelve Frontier, and they're gonna get the ball back. This time it looks like Caroline Dean's gonna be serving the ball. And they've got a serving rotation, right? You can't just stay with the same mm. server. Yeah. That was a good serve right there. But, yeah, the point's going to go to Frontier. It was hit out of bounds. Here's Dean with the serve again. Oh, and it's, it's going to get hit into the stands. Bye. Twenty to twelve, Frontier. This is a larger lead than they had yep. in the last set. Oh, ball was shanked again by East Hampton. Number it's three, Kaylee Downey. Frontier only needs four points to win the second set. Anya Carey is going to come in for the Red Hawks. She's setting now. Eagles get it back over. Oh, and but the ball hit the antenna, so the ball goes to Frontier. Yet another point for Frontier. And they're just they're just taking control of this game, really. 
Got a very big lead. Ten point lead. If the Eagles don't do something right now, Frontier is going to have two sets in their pocket. And that's what the Eagles needed to see right there. First point in a very, very long time for them. And it's 13 to 22. They've got to come up with a big run to come back. But let's see what they can do. Here's Kaylee Downey with the serve for the Eagles. Another point for them. Downey serve, low, and can't be handled by Dugan. Maybe they figured something out. Good save there by Dean. And what a great play there. That was by number 16. Aaron Teague with a little tip over the net. East Hampton is on a three-point run right now. Can they keep it going? And an overpass. And, and East Hampton's side, they're going to get it oh. over. Four-point run for the Eagles. Serve to Dugan. Carry. Dugan can't get oh. it over. There's a lot of. This is very messy. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Five points in a row. And City's coming back in for Anya as a setter. This is five points in a row for the Eagles. Oh. Ooh, and a nice save by Carolyn Dini. Oh. just can't get it over. This is tough. Six and a point time run out. Timeout by Frontier. A timeout. Frontier only needs three points, and I just can't get that. They just. I don't know what's happened, Parrish. I mean, Frontier. East Hampton's come up. They can't. They've. Like, Come back. Six points. They've gotten. They've gotten. Five on points. Si they've gotten a six-point run. Yeah. They were. Or was it seven? It yeah, was it twenty-two was, nineteen. It was. It's a seven-point run because they were behind ten points when they got the ball. Yeah. It's crazy. This is incredible. It looks like East Hampton might just win this one, but who knows? I mean, no doubt that timeout did a little something to their momentum, which mm. can be key in these kinds of things. Yeah. But here comes East Hampton back onto the court out after the timeout. We've got the crowd. A very big support section here. The crowd is loving this. And Downey with the serve again. Dugan gets it back oh, over. That was a good cut. And there's very good spot to hit it in. One of the points that Frontier needs. Gabrielle Adams coming in now for Frontier. Number 10, Brooke Davis is serving. Frontier just needs two more points. Nice save by Downey. Eagles get it back over. Dean, Scanlon, Appenau. by Jill Appenau. Gonna and get another point. They just, Frontier just needs one more to win this set. This is getting close. This is getting really close because we know that the Eagles can pull this and off. And a timeout, I think, by East Hampton. Yeah. 
East Hampton needs to really get it together if they want to win yeah, this Coach one. Yeah, Coach Jacobs. Coach Jacobson, she's saying, what's going on? What happened? We had mm -hmm. something going. We went on a seven-point run, and now you can't pull it together when it counts. Yep. You, need, you guys need six points to win this set right now. All you got to do is you got to get the ball, and you got to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, that sounds easy when I'm saying it, when I've never <laughs> <laughs> played this game in my life, but... I don't doubt that that's what she's saying right now. Because it is 24 to 19. Frontier needs one point to win this set and give themselves a two set lead over they the Eagles. They just need one more point. This is very crucial. There we go, set by the Eagles. Oh, and. They can't Point goes get it to Frontier, over. so they Frontier. won the second set. Frontier wins. After an incredible rally by the Eagles, a seven point run, folks. So Frontier won the first two sets. They need to win one more to win the whole game. So. So now this is getting. This is a. This is the very important set for Frontier. Yeah. They win this they win Western Mass Finals. If the Eagles win this, then we're looking at four, potentially five sets and a much longer game. Yeah. And right now, what needs to happen for the Eagles overall is a comeback, period. Because yep. they, they're in a situation where they need to win three sets in a row to win this game. If they had been able to keep it together in that last set, they would have given themselves a little bit of wiggle room and it, the game would have been completely different than it is right now. Mm. Whereas Frontier is in a very commanding position. Although East Hampton, I believe, will start off with the ball at the start of this third set yep. so that gives them an opportunity to do what they've done in past sets and start off strong but again it still leaves us with that question can they maintain that strong start and they haven't been able to do that in the past parish nope. <clears throat> and right now Frontier is really showing everyone why they are the number one seed and not East Hampton yeah, East Hampton needs to win three sets in a row to win the game, which is a very hard thing to do. Yeah, it's no easy feat. So if Frontier wins the set, then they win the game. And they move on in the finals. What would they move on to? What is what is the winner of this team? Because this is the Western Mass Finals. So then well, even if Frontier to, loses this game, though, they're still going to move on, I think. Oh. They're like, like a higher level, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So would it move on to a different, like, league division, like, kind of? No, it would still be the finals. There are more mm. games in the finals. So. Oh. I think the last game. All right. Teams coming back from their huddles into this third and quite possibly final set of this Western Mass Finals game. Oh, no, Frontier is going to start with the ball. Mm. I wonder why. Yeah. My, my assumption was before that, who had the loser of the last set yeah. started with it. But. Great serve. Oh, Ooh, a great. Oh, great my goodness. Great by number 12, though. Yeah. 
Well, although uh, the Eagles have lost these past two sets, something that we can't complain about from what we're seeing in them is a lot of effort. Yeah. They're Lots laying themselves effort. out every single play to get that ball. And they want to win this. They do. They aren't just here and they aren't content with that. And you can tell. Mm -hmm. Here's Davis oh. with the serve into serve the net. Into the net. So now ball's going to go to the Eagles, and let's see what they can do with it. There's the serve from the Eagles. Scanlon, DeMeo, get it over. And shanked by East Hampton. Yeah. So ball goes back to Frontier. Scanlon on the serve. Oh, mm. and a miscommunication on Frontier's part. So now another opportunity for the Eagles. That's going to be uh, Sofia Faginski, Jr. is going to take the... And a back row hit see. by Eve Dugan. Oh, hit. wow. There's Scanlon with it now. Get over. Frontier's point. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know. Let's we'll see. And all right, that's going to put Frontier up by two, which at the beginning of this isn't, of course, as significant as it is later in the game. But... There's the serve. Hit over by the Eagles. Scanlon, Appenau. Oh, what a great kill by Jill Appenau. Just right in between. Yeah couple of back players. Five to two frontier. Now they're up by three. And here's Dean in the back. Great serve. serve. Oh. The Eagles get it back over. Ooh. Great oh. hit by Eve Dugan. That was a great stop in the back by Kaylee Downey, though. Yeah. Just couldn't handle it. Caroline Dean, again with the serve for Frontier, up six to two right now. An overpass. And a great block by Jill Apina. Now Frontier again with a nice, comfortable lead of seven to two. Was out. Thought it was in, but. Well, it's a good thing that the players diving for that ball missed, though. Yeah. Good for the Eagles, at least. So here's Kaylee Downey taking the serve. Dugan Davis back to Dugan, hits it back over. There's the Eagles. Scanlon, Dugan. A great hit by Eve. Oh, and they can't handle it. East Hampton still down, eight to three. And, and another amazing block by Joe Apino. She's very tall, so that helps a lot with yeah. blocking. And hitting. It says on my little roster here that she's actually six foot, which. Yeah, that's very helpful. Yeah. Ball was shanked by East Hampton. So now the Eagles are down by seven in this de deciding set here. DeMeo with the serve for Frontier. 
Nice little Ooh. tip over. That was a good play. Good great effort awareness. by E, but some great awareness by uh, that was number twelve, Maggie Barr, um, of East Hampton. Frontier has another good lead. Scanlon Adams. Oh. Ball into the net. But that lead by Frontier is getting whittled down mm. by the Eagles. Here's the serve. Scanlon, Dugan. Oh, Ooh. and a great kill by E. Just a little bit too far in front of the back players there. Maggie Barr and Kaylee Downey. There's Appenel. Oh my That was an amazing goodness. serve. That was just a bullet. So, point for Frontier off of a great serve by Appenel. She's going to go back, serve it again. Um, score is 12 to 5, Frontier. They are up by 7 right now. Another and serve another by Appenel. Ace by wow. Jill. This is what we were seeing in the previous set. By, I believe it was uh, Scanlon. Yeah. She was having just this great, great run of serving serves. run. But that was out. Oh, it was in. I would so, have called that one out. But all right. But point goes back to Frontier, so. And so 14 to 5 Frontier. Have a good Hope lead. is starting to wane for the Eagles. Wow. She's just on a great run. She really is. A shank hit there by, um, that was Downey, Kaylee Downey. And, and a, time a timeout out. by East Hampton. And Coach Jacobson cannot be happy about this. Mm -mm. I mean, this is East Hampton's last chance to win. So. Yeah, their season's on the line right now. They don't win this set. That's it. Mm -hmm. Frontier will be the Western Mass champions again for this game. Yes. Yes, for this like what is it? Class, yeah. right? Cuz this is class C. And it's it's broken up by like size of school, I think, right? Cuz there's like I think it that's divisions. Is that divisions? That's divisions. That's class then. I don't know. Someone probably knows. It's not us though. <laughs> so uh, Frontier still with the ball. App and now back with the serve. Wow! wow they just can't hit the ball. They it's have an it's eleven point lead. This is Quite against something. East Hampton. Appenel just going on a run right here. Nice save there. Oh, wow. But they, they just can't, can't get it over. And they're starting to get angry with themselves, serves. you can see. Yeah. That's number four who came in. Caitlin Therian. They just cannot My God. get her serves. She has a very good serve, very strong. Frontier is up by 13 points. Serve again from Appenel. Nice save. Serve, but they just cannot get it. Wow. Oh my goodness. I mean, how long has she been serving? Like I don't know, but this has been, this has just been incredible. I think like almost 10 points now. Yeah. I mean, Frontier's up by 14 right now. 
I can imagine calling the Amazing final score serve. of this set with Frontier up by 20 points. Nice. Miss Dugan. He goes back over. Scanlon. Dugan. Nice hit Great there. Hit. A good middle hit. Scanlon back to Dugan. Great kill by E. Dugan. It was amazing. Barr just couldn't handle it in the back. So now Frontier is Frontier up. just needs five points to win the whole game. And East Hampton's going to have to have a, a very long run to try and win this game. Back row hit. And nice hit by Sydney. Dugan gets it over. There's Patel. Oh, double touch by number 16, Aaron T. Four points for Frontier to win it. In the hands of Jillian Appenau. Again. As they have been for the, the majority of this set. There's her serve she just has right through the hands rocket. of Kaylee Downey. Oh my goodness, three points. Appenel. Oh, and it's out. That was a great serving. Oh line. my goodness gracious. So long. That was absolutely phenomenal, Parrish. That was. And now Appenel's going to come out, subbed in by Samantha Baker. But let's see what the Eagles can do here. Can they do they are gonna the improbable? Yeah. There's their serve. Dugan back. Hit over. Great middle hit, but out. Too far. Frontier just needs two more points. Scores 23 to 6. And now the ball is going to be in the hands of Eve Dugan. Who is a senior. One of the captains, I believe. Here's her serve. Oh. Handled by Downey, but it's going to go out. We are down to one point, folks. One point for Scores Frontier. 24 6. One point for Frontier to win this game. One point for Frontier to be the Western Mass Class C champions. Here's the serve by Eve Dugan. And it was out. They just need one more point. But now the ball is going to be in the hands of number four, Caitlin Therian of the Eagles. There's Dugan. Great set. Adams. Oh. And there's the point, folks. Great tip by Gabby Adams and a win from Frontier. Frontier Redhawks have won the game. The game and Western Mass Championship. Classy. Three sets to none. And what a fantastic game. Great game. For both teams, that was a lot of effort on both sides. The Eagles put up a couple of incredible point runs, but the Frontier Redhawks are going to come away with yet another another win, another win, and yet Third another win championship. Of the finals. And. So now they're going to Gonna hum, hmm. award the trophy, I believe, is what's happening next. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess they are. I didn't even know that. I got a big round of applause for both teams. The PBIAC would like to 
thank Pioneer Valley Financial for this, their support throughout our Western Mass tournaments and for, for providing our championship trophies. First, we'll honor East Hampton for the Class C Western Mass final finalist um, trophy for the 22 season. And so there's the trophy for the East Hampton Eagles Western Mass Class C they finalists. They did a great job. Phenomenal team, phenomenal season. There go the all captains, the seniors. all the seniors, bringing home the championship back to South Deerfield. Getting a picture. <laughs> Reporter's gonna have to scoot around back behind the coach after he takes a picture. And what a great Ooh. moment for Frontier. A great game, a great season. And Frontier, again, after three sets in a row, three set wins in a row, they're going to come out on top and win the Western Mass Championship. They did a great job. All right, any final thoughts on the game before we have to go, Parrish? I don't know. I mean, we're going to see how far Frontier goes and yeah. the last games and the playoffs, so I guess that's it. And we wish the best of East Hampton. They played an amazing game, an amazing season. And that's going to be all for us today. Thank you for watching. This has been Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Parrish Stilla, Kevin Murphy, Braden Fernandez, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you all at home for joining us today. Frontier Redhawks, Western Mass champions in volleyball class C yet again. This has been Frontier Community Access Television. Have a wonderful day, folks. Um, we're really proud, 17th year in a row, and we just really feel like happy and proud that this team can kind of carry on the tradition, carry on the legacy of Frontier Volleyball, and we're really happy at how we did today. Yeah, and we've done it before, but it feels just as good every time. Yeah, and how did you guys feel about your performances during the game? Um, I thought we kind of got better as the game went on. Yeah. You know, you're always nervous no matter who you're playing in the Western Mass Finals, so yeah. the first set was a little shaky, but I thought we really built mm -hmm. confidence as we went. Yeah. And ended really strong. Yeah. I agree with everything she said. And both of you, Caroline Dean, yep. how are you guys feeling about the championship? We're really excited. It's the 17th year in a row. Yeah. Um, hey guys. I feel like we, you know, played pretty well out there. Some good mm -hmm. serving. And from Jillian Alpinel, especially in the last yep. set. So. Oh, yeah. And we also are really excited for our upcoming tougher games in the state tournament. And we're going to work really hard. Yeah, do you guys know who you're uh, playing next? We don't know yet. The seeds come out tomorrow, and then we'll probably know when we're going to play. So hopefully Frontier fans will come to our next game. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I was really surprised to see how many people came. I know. Because, yeah. you know, it was uh, East Hampton, and we're in Chicopee. Yeah, You know, it's, exactly. it's quite a ways from most people. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. How did you guys feel about your, like, personal performances? Um, I thought I did pretty well. Sometimes it can be, like, your nerves can make you play a little differently, but I thought everyone collectively kind of held it together, so that was exciting. Yep. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.